readers, hello partners. I am so glad you're here with me, Mrs. Davis, in the Happy Place to Grow. We know a new school year is off to a great start, and you're joining me because we are working on growing and just strengthening our reading skills by working on letter sounds, putting those letter sounds together to form words, being able to sound out words, and also to spy patterns. So our first lesson that we're working through in the new school year is going to be Magic E. We've already launched into it. We have worked through our first lesson. If you missed that, backtrack to lesson one. Now we're working with the vowel. Well, you know, we need vowels to make words. And last year we worked mostly with short vowels. A, a, e, a, a. Now we're going to be still remembering short vowels because there's always a connection between short and long. And you're going to see some words that have short vowels or long vowels. But we're working forward now because to get the long vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U, we've got to spy for specific patterns. So our first pattern that we're working through, I'm calling it Magic E. You can call it Silent E. It really does two jobs when it's working in a word. Now let's recall back. If you joined me on the last lesson, what was our rule or our thought for the Magic E? What did we learn? Think about it for just a minute. Okay, so the first job of Magic E is it's we're going to spy this pattern. Let me pull it out of my magic hat. Doo, 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 doo. The first job of magic E is when there's a vowel in a word and the vowel E is at the end, it's the last letter, then it is, I cut this line through, what does that mean? It's silent. We're not going to hear its vowel sound at all. It's not going to say E or A. It's quiet. The other vowel does the walking. Sorry, switch that. The other vowel does the talking and the silent E does the walking. So they partner up like you and I are partnering in a, uh, together, working. So there's a vowel which does the talking, makes the sound, and the silent E is a partner, does the walking, but not the talking. And then here's where the magic comes in. Alakazam, poof. The second job it does when it does the walking, and the reason it's doing the walking and not the talking, the first vowel is going to do the talking, but it's going to say it's long sound, sound. So that's where the magic takes place. Instead of ah, this pattern that we see where there's a vowel, there's a beginning sound, a vowel, an ending sound, and then the letter E, which is silent. He also makes magic and makes that first vowel say its letter name, the long sound. And our focus in our first lesson, Back to School, was the vowel A. We're just, that's why I wore my apron today, because we're focused on the magic happening, alakazam, akazam, akazoo, where A is going to be changed into A with the magic E. So... Let's just review what we did last time. I'm just going to pull a few words out of my hat and let's see if we can recall these words. We'll just kind of go through them quickly and then we're going to move forward 
with our knowledge on silent E because we've got another thing that we're going to focus on, another pattern that we want to realize as we're reading through words that has to do with magic E. All right, so hang with me. Let's just review from last lesson. We built the word, what word is this? I hope you said can. You know why it's k a n Right, because there's no silent E. So if we don't have a silent E, the thing that we're thinking about, the rule we're thinking about, is this vowel should be short. Now that doesn't always 100%, but a lot of times, most of the time, you can count if there's one vowel, it's gonna be short. So this is a, and then we added silent E to change poof. Magically, can went to cane. That's right, because this becomes a, does the walking, not the talking. So, can cane. And then we built cap. C-A-P. This is a because there's no other vowel in there. And... When we added the magic E, poof. Yeah, it's cape. So it's really interesting to me that we can just add one letter and it changes the whole word. We get lots of new words. And as readers, it's really important to understand that we're going to encounter some changes as we're reading. And this can help us our knowledge because we can see a pattern like a silent E and know what to do when we run up against that. Let's review a few more. We had, that's an A, yep, mad, and mad changed to made, not with the touch of a button, but with a silent E. Let's do a couple more. Then we had, yeah, Sam, at, Ah, mm. but Sam was changed to same exactly. Let's do one more and then we'll move to our, our new information for today. Yeah, we're always adding, we're always growing and expanding so that we can be successful readers. This was t a Turn to tape with a silent E. Wow, you are magically on the ball today. Now, here's what we're going to be thinking about. Those were easy to think about as we were working through them because you've got can, and then all we had to do was add the magic E. There was no change except adding the E, but... You know, as we're encountering words, when we're reading, sometimes it is like rocket science. You know, it is complicated, but we're gaining our skills so we can be successful. Sometimes there is more than just adding the silent E to make the change from short to long. Now we're gonna keep with at A. We're definitely going to be thinking about the silent E, but the words that we're going to be building today and working through are going to be short A words when the pattern is, remember this pattern we worked through at the beginning of the year last year as we were building our short vowel words. When you have a short vowel and you hear K at the end, it will be C. K, they're partners in short vowel words that end with the sound k. So sometimes in books and things that you're reading, you're going to see words that are built, short vowel words with CK. However, there's a difference here when we add the silent E. So that's what we're going to work through today. So let's build, let's take the A, and let's take our A, 
Let's put that bell there. We move it down here. So, and we're going to keep this guy handy too with our silent E. Let's put those two right together. So we're going to be seeing a difference when there's a CK at the end and there's just a little magical change. Boom, boom. We've got two little magical changes beside the silent E. So, <laughs> that's kind of funny. We just built ACK. We're going to put a beginning sound because this is an A. If I put B, B says B. We've got B, A, K. Back. Mm -hmm. So back is a short A word. That's why we have the CK pattern. But hmm, let me think now. What would I do? What change do I need to make? Oh, are you saying I should just add a sign with me? Hmm. I don't think that's right. We do need a silent E at the end to do the walking, not the talking, and to magically change this to an A. Hmm. But, oh yeah, we said there's got to be two changes. When we add the silent E to make the A sound, we're going to have to make another change. We're, what do you think it is? Oh, did you say take out the, let's do it. We need to remove the C, they're partners, but not if we're making a long A word with the K sound. So here's a little different. And this, this will help you too with your spelling. You'll understand when you're writing back, you need a CK. But when you are spelling a long A word with a K sound at the end, Alakazam, 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 poof. Ah, instead of back, we have made a change. And now this is long A, because we've got the magic E going on. We're taking these partners away because they go with short vowels. Hmm, now we've changed back to B. A, K, Sh. Back now magically changes into bake. I'm going to scratch my back. I'm going to go bake some cookies. So see the difference? When you're reading a word and you see this pattern, you're going to know, Spires, that this is A. But if you see the silent E and there's a K sound, you're going to know this changes to an A. So back is not back, it's bake. Magically delicious. Awesome. Good job. Now, let's move pull this over and this over. And let's put the CK partner back over there. Let's get... Let's see what else we've got here. Too. Oh, oh, this is a good one. This word rhymes with back. Where's my hat? Let's tuck that in there. I'm going to put... Oh, beginning sound. I still have ack. That's still a short vowel because there's no silent E at the end. This letter is L. Do you remember what L... Wait a minute. I'm not even going to ask you that because I know you know what the letter L says by now. Let's just sound it out together. Ooh, a, k. There's four letters but only three sounds. When you have a short vowel word, you're going to have these partners. Let's change lack into a magical change here going on. Scoot, 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 scoot. Scoot, scoot, alakazam, alaka, poof. Now, I still have k at the end, but I don't have that partner team. And I have a silent E, so you know what that means. This becomes 
A. So, U. A. K. Ah, let's blend it together. Lake. Say it fast. Lake. Lack means you don't have enough. Lake is a body of water that you can swim in. Cool. Magic E doing its job. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this one. Of course. Well, let me put pool down there. Those two. Scoot, 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 scoot. Let's get the CK. We're learning that. We're reminding ourselves if we see the CK at the end, that's going to make this an A, short, a short A. Let me grab these two partners, S-H. Shh. Mm -hmm. This one's going to be a fun one. The long E one's going to be the fun one. All right. So we've got, wow, one, two, three, four, five letters, but we only have three sounds. Interesting. Short vowels are really fun to work through, and they create a little bit of work because we have to think through that there's only, there might be two letters, but only one sound. Oh, let's read this one together. Shh. A. Ah. Good blend. Shack. Say it fast. Shack. You know, Shack's just an old broke down house that's, you know, kind of old and run down. A shack. But I want to get a long A word. I know I can't build a long A word unless I get rid of the CK pattern. I still want, oops. I still want a k at the end. Ooh, 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 ooh. Scoot over. Red Rover, Red Rover, scoot yourself up. And the magic is going to happen. Alakazam, a kazam, a cup. Now we don't have shack anymore. We still have shh. They still partner up. They're going to say their same sound together in this word. But this is not a. Ah, this is going to be a. So shh, a. K, shh. No sound at all. Let's blend these sounds together. We've got sound one, sound two, sound three. Hmm. Shh, a. Blend it, shake, say it fast, shake. You can shake your head no, you can shake your head yes, you can go to Sonic and get a milkshake. Mm, that sounds good. That's kind of why I wanted to do this word, because I love a good old milkshake, don't you? So shack turns into shake, but we're having to make a really big change here. When you're reading in books or you're reading something, maybe some print that the teacher's put on her smart board or her whiteboard and she has a CK, you're going to know that's a short vowel word. But if you see a, a K with a silent E, you're going to know that makes the vowel long. You are definitely going to be a reading expert before the end of this lesson. All right, let me scoot these partners over. Scoot you back. We're back to Shaq. All right, let's move you down here, partner team. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, oh. it's all about the food for me today, for sure. I've got another phone number. We're going to be building an hour. So we've got act back over here. But this time, let's take this beginning sound and this beginning sound. Let's team them up, right? Now, on this partner team, we hear both of their sounds. 
The, this is a blend, two sounds working together. They flow, but you hear both sounds. So let's review. Mm. Good. Let's put sn with ack. And let's read it. Here we go. Mm. Now I touched each sound here because we hear both of those sounds. I touched once here because those partner up to make one sound. Let's do that again. S, n, a, k. Let's blend it. Snack. You're making me hungry. Say it fast. Snack. You can have a, a shake for snack if you want. My apron is getting tilted. I had to fix it. Wait a minute. What changes do I need to make if I want snack to have a long A sound? Instead of A, ah, I want it to have an A. Is this right? I'm glad you said no. What change do I need? What? Oh, get rid of the CK because that goes with short vowels. Beep, 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 beep. Add just a K. He works alone with long vowels. Is that right? Does that give me? Well, I forgot the magic E, but you didn't. So glad you're with me, helping me through. Ah, not snack anymore. Do you like this word? Some people do, and some people don't. Well, let's sound it out together. We're touching each sound. These two partners say their own sounds as they blend together. S, n, a, k, ooh. Blend it, snake. I made a mistake and kissed a snake. How many doctors does it take? That's a little rhyme we used to stay, say in school. Did you say that one? That was a funny one. Snake. Say it fast. Snake. Sometimes out in the backyard, I see a black snake crawling around. A snack, which is something we love to eat, becomes Snake, which some people don't even want to even have any part of. How about you? Do you like a snake or not? I like them from afar, but not close up. Oh, wow. We are just really working through our pattern of CK, making that short vowel and changing it magically. Let's do a few more. Let's take M mm with ack, beginning sound, short vowel, ack, M, mm, ack, blend, good, mac, now you say it fast. Mac can be a person's name. I wouldn't need a capital M, but it's fine. Hmm. I want to change Mac into a long A word. Is that how I do it? Well, that's not right, is it? What do I need to do? Help me. Oh, if it's a short vowel, I have this partner team if you hear K. So I need to move that away. Is this right? Oh no. I need an ending sound, right? Mm, let's see, we're working with k. Ah, instead of Mac, now I have make. No? 
Oh, of course, this is the magic E time. I've got to remember when I'm reading or spelling, if I hear A as in M A K, I have to get rid of the CK. I only need K. He's working alone in long vowels. And then I have to add the silent E, silent E. You know, I love not only are we thinking about spying for patterns while we read, but we're also going to be expert spellers. Reading and spelling do work together. And when we're working through these phonics skills, for sure, it's going to help us build both of those skills, spelling and reading. Oh, wow, we have really worked hard. Let's do one more and then we'll call it a day. Silent E's going up here, K's going up here. Let's put that CK and let's get our A back here. We're gonna put M. Mm. Let's take one more beginning sound. How about this beginning sound? Letter T says what? Yet. Good. A. So we've got T. A. K. Yeah. Blend. Tack. Say it fast. Tack. Wow. You know, a tack is like a sharp object that you push something like into a cork board. You like tack up your work, your teacher might put a tack in a board at school, a uh, thumb tack. Tack. Hmm. Now I want to change this to an A, so I'll start with my different looking A, just to kind of give us a different vibe. I want to take tack, and I want to change that to an A. Yeah, I got to get rid of a CK, because that's for short vowel words. Good learning and good teaching. You could even teach your dog, your goldfish. You could quiz your brother. Yeah, cool. Call grandma or grandpa and tell them about silent E. Let's take our K, but we're still not finished because in order to get the A sound, we've got to have magic E, alakazamakazoo, E does the walking, a does the talking, it says its own name, it says its ladder sound. So tack now magically poof becomes t a good. You are really taking your time learning this skill. I'm so proud of you. It's about time for us to take a break too. Take. Say it fast. Take. Whew. Wow, we have really worked hard on our magic E lesson two, realizing that sometimes we have to make more of a change. If there's a short vowel, there might be some patterns where we can't just add the silent E on, or we're not going to see the CK and then an E because there's a big change from this pattern at the end to an A with a K at the end when you're adding the silent E. And that's why we're really, you know, extending our learning about different patterns, different ways that we can see words in books and things that we're reading, signs, our skills are really sharpening up. We're taking ourselves to the next level. And I'm so proud of you for working so hard. We have done a great job. I think it's time for us to take a break. I will see you next time as we work through our A versus A magic E. I think... It's time for us to do a little magic word sort. Oh, that's pretty easy for you. 
you'll know the difference between a words and a words. Join me on the next lesson. We're going to do our word sort, a versus a words. We're going to see if we can read them quickly, sort them under the correct header, and then lesson four, you know what time it is, spell check. We're going to be not only reading, but spelling our magic E words. All right, learners, you have really worked hard today. It's almost like you pulled a rabbit out of a hat with your learning. Good job. And I can't relate until you join me again because not only are you a learner, but you're also reminding me at home of the rules so I can spell and put these patterns correct. All right, learners, keep working hard and I'll see you for our next magical adventure.